Everyone's talking about the filibuster, and you, because you spent 8th grade drooling on your Trapper Keeper, are like, what the f*** is the filibuster, and why the f*** do I care? Well, wipe that slobber off your mouth and let's get to learning. Alright, what the f*** is a filibuster? The filibuster is any tactic a senator uses to extend debate on a bill and block it from being passed, typically done to stall a piece of legislation they oppose. In today's Senate, 60 votes are required to overcome the filibuster. When most people think of a filibuster, they see a senator standing up and talking for hours on end to stall, a kind of Mr. Smith goes to Washington defiant last stand. Sure, I will not yield. Hold your horses, cowboy. That's not how the modern filibuster works. These days, it's something stupidly lazy, like an email or a text message. So if Ted Cruz hates kittens, and I'm not saying he does, you do like kittens, don't you, Ted? He could stop the Kittens Are Cute Act just by sending a text like, Um, sorry Chuck, but I don't like kittens, lucky thinks by. Then Ted can go back to slurping margaritas on the beach while the whole thing is gunked up unless 60 senators rally to tell him to shut up. And in this day and age, it is nearly impossible to get 60 senators to agree on anything really. One assumes even cute cats. So why the f*** do you care? In case you've been living under a rock, bought and paid politicians have been piling on legislation to prevent voting access around the country. Our democracy is under very serious threat. But the For the People Act stops those jerks in their tracks. And it's caught in the filibuster trap. I know, it's not cute kittens. It's just the foundation of our society at stake. And it's stalled by this silly rule. Of course, some snot-nosed politician will talk about the quote-unquote integrity of the Senate. First of all, the filibuster is basically a historical accident that's gone from interesting congressional quirk to destructive tactic in just a few decades. In its current state, it's made Congress an ineffective flaming pile of garbage. Maybe it's just me, but government should respond to and work for the people. <clears throat> Second, you know what would really ruin the integrity of the Senate? the destruction of democracy. I'll say it louder for the folks in the back. There is no integrity in the, in the destruction, destruction of democracy. Of democracy. And letting the filibuster stay the way it is means the destruction of our democracy. We're talking about totally losing our voice. A despot autocracy run by leaders with no accountability, no checks and balances, and unlimited power. Uh, that's bad, right? Right, so let's make sure it doesn't happen. Call your senator, tell them, Democracy matters more than some arcane process. Fix the filibuster. Oh, and if you see Ted Cruz on the beach this summer, don't go too hard on him for hating kittens. I'm not even sure if it's true, but it sounds true. <laughs>